Hello, AdamWilkins.com Reps. Um, we are going to take a look inside of our private label account again and talk about metric monitoring. Now, this is an area where a lot of people miss, uh, don't know, don't necessarily talk about, but it is important for the overall health of your account, uh, improving your scoring and your standing with Amazon. <clears throat> also, just general preventative maintenance. Um, so areas that, um, we like to cover, um, not just with the accounts we own, but the accounts we manage are regular weekly reviews of our performance and account health. So you can get there from the upper left hand menu, go into performance and then account health. It's a good starting point from here. We can see, you know, what is our order defect rate? Now we are, um, in this particular account, 100% FBA. So generally speaking, we don't have an order defect rate. Um, that's you know traditionally for seller filled products, seller fulfilled. On the fulfilled by Amazon side, um, you know the defects generally are very low. Um, so so I would say you know take this with a grain of salt. Not all this information is 100% relevant because some of these violations you may never receive. Um, uh, you may never get charged back. Uh, claims <clears throat> you may never see A to Z guarantee claims, but it is important to um, look out for these, right? So we're checking our our customer service uh, metrics, our um, compliance policies, right? So we haven't violated anything. We have no restricted products, for example. Um, if you use the word bacteria, you don't have the proper um, uh, pesticide uh, certifications and or just safety certifications, you may get a, a policy compliance note somewhere in here, right? Or let's say the customer claims you shipped used inventory marked as new, you'd get a complaint here. Uh, IP complaints, this is if you infringed on someone's trademark, you accidentally used their brand name in your listing or an, a word you didn't realize was trademarked. You'd see some of that here. Um, and, and you know, your late shipment rate, these rates are targets. So uh, some of them are FBA specific, um, you know, for example, this is seller fulfilled. These are FBA, FBM specific, I'm sorry, um, which is seller fulfilled is FBM. You would uh, see, you know, if you were outside of this range, right? Now, same with your compliance. If there were safety requests or the system is asking for some kind of safety certification, you'd receive that here um, and it show a one you would have to click into this um, and then you would do uh, an appeal, right? So you'd appeal why you have compliance or you'd say, hey, um, in as part of the appeal, it was a misunderstanding, but here's the safety certification for that. Um, and that's how you would um, clear up any of those miscommunications between you and Amazon or likely accidental infringements. Um, now, when we're in the account menu, we can kind of hop around, we can look at you know, customer service issues. Do we have, you know, defects anywhere? Um, again, product policy, we kind of went over this. There's nothing to appeal here. Our shipping performance, um, this shows, you know, if anything's late or, or, or not correct. Um, and we've got some reports, you know, orders with defects, performance over time, eligibilities. Um, you know, if you'd have an emergency contact number, you know, you want to maintain your health score uh, above 250 for six months. Um, you want to maintain this so that you can, you know, continue to send stuff into FBA and obviously continue to to use your seller central store. So it is important. Um, we have some voice of the customer um, issues here where we can see kind of overall quality um, of products. Um, and if we've got some health issues here going on, the system will tell us. Um, we can look into the details for some of them just to see like what, for example, are people complaining about, you know, some of these are fulfillment r related. Others are, are complaints about the product or misunderstanding about the products. But the overall uh, metric you really want to check is this one, right? It'll tell you if you're good, poor, whatever. And this rate is basically your order defect rate. If you're, um, let's say under 2%, you're in good shape. Um, so uh, take that into consideration. 
when we look at some of these uh, metrics. Now, the other area that we want to check regularly um, in our performance is our feedback. And you want to keep this score high, right? You can see our overall lifetime score is 100%. Negative comments are at zero. Um, now, this is indicative of a couple things. One, the fact that we, you know, maintain this and we maintain um, communication with uh, our customers, right? So any messages that come through, <clears throat> any complaints, any emails, any messages from Amazon, or uh, any negative store feedback, uh, we nip it in the bud immediately. So always start here. We want to look for um, negative feedback on the store that's related to fulfillment. Now the, the, the reason um, is that a lot of these reviews, people accidentally leave a product review on the store as the brand's feedback. And it does work to your advantage if you um, dispute them. So you can see a lot of these items, these complaints are either about the product, if it is, it doesn't belong here, or it's about fulfillment. And when you're an FBA, fulfillment complaints are Amazon's responsibility. So that works to our advantage where we can uh, click this here, and, and you can't contact the customer, it's, um, you can really, but uh, it's not what we're looking for because we don't have an active one. But it, we would click this here and we would uh, dispute if this were an open um, feedback. And we would ask them for, for, to remove it. Now because it's uh, fulfilled by Amazon, you'll get a message like this and they'll strike it through. Uh, and that's how you really keep a clean score. You can go through your neutrals also, um, which are anything you know less than a five star for example. So a two star or three star. Um, and also perform the same functions there. Really, the goal is to be left with just positive feedback. And positive feedback that's on the product, um, not just fulfillment, leave it there. Because you want a high score and you want uh, th these five stars. And it is important to a degree for your buy box health, um, but overall, just the brand and your store's health. So uh, especially if you're looking to sell the brand at any point in time, you want a high feedback rating. Um, that adds uh, clout, clarity. Uh, in, in, in our minds, it adds, um, it, it adds to the value of the brand to show that the history is excellent. Um, and um, it, it also helps prevent your store, obviously, from being shut down. Um, in the event you ever have to file some kind of a complaint, you can go back to Amazon and say, hey, look, you know, we have a history here of being a, a, a performing seller. Um, so some, those are some of the, the um, metric monitoring that um, we do traditionally uh, for accounts on a weekly basis just to make sure everything is um, in good standing. That goes without saying, you do want to check constantly, daily, right? And maybe get email notifications for buyer messages. Um, the other thing you may want to look into um, just to make your life easier um, is your your info and your policies um, and and make sure you've filled out these various uh, pages here right so there's no misunderstandings between your shipping policy you know return policies um, what have you um, another thing I would do to kind of automate your life is your fulfillment settings um, you can have uh, automatic removal um, settings so that the product uh, comes back to you um, in the event it's uh, unsellable or you could choose to dispose of it. Um, but I would, I would automate some of those long-term, short-term removal settings in here in these various menus and decide uh, what you want to do with the unfulfillable inventory. Um, we do include that kind of as the metric monitoring because there are clients, for example, that don't realize they have unfulfillable inventory and the stuff sits and then, you know, it can, it can hurt your performance if you've taken no action. Um, so that's one thing I would look at. Another thing I would look at, you know, inside of your 
uh, inventory um, menu is this inventory planning tool. Um, it, there's a lot of great things in here. We can see our, our overall IPI score. Um, and this is an inventory score, you know, if, if we've got aged inventory, and you can click in these various menus and, and you know, learn various things about your account, its sell-through rate, how old the inventory is, you know, why is your score high, why is your score low, what can you do to improve it? Um, and then also this restock inventory. A lot of people don't know how to do forecasting, and Amazon makes it really simple for you by essentially telling you what and when to ship in. I wouldn't listen to it 100% because it will tell you to be a little overzealous and send too much in, but it does give a good indication of like what you've sold over the last 30 days, what you expect to sell moving forward, um, and, and what have you. So um, in a nutshell, those are the quick and easy ways you can do your metric monitoring. Um, we've taken you know about 10 minutes to explain that. Um, if you do this on a daily basis or a weekly basis, it will take you two, three minutes but um, it's uh, worth it because it will ensure the overall health and good standing of your account with Amazon. Um, thank you again. I hope you enjoyed this video.